Your car's automatic transmission speed sensor is crucial in ensuring smooth operation and efficiency. In this video, we'll cover the five essential functions of the automatic transmission speed sensor and the five symptoms of a bad sensor you should never ignore. But first, remember to hit the subscription button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Let's begin with the five main functions of an automatic transmission speed sensor. First, the speed sensor monitors the transmission's input and output speeds. It measures how fast the engine rotates and how fast the wheels turn, helping the transmission control unit make precise adjustments. Number 1. Monitoring transmission input and output speeds. The speed sensor monitors the rotational speed of both the input shaft, connected to the engine, and the output shaft, attached to the wheels. This information helps the vehicle's computer, ECU, determine how fast the transmission is spinning and at what rate the wheels are turning. Measuring these speeds is critical for smooth gear shifting and preventing transmission damage. Number 2. Controlling gear shifts. The sensor is critical in determining when the automatic transmission shifts between gears. Based on the data provided by the speed sensors, the transmission control unit, TCU, calculates the appropriate time for gear shifts. This ensures that gear changes happen smoothly and at the correct RPM, revolutions per minute, preventing jerky transitions and improving driving comfort. Number 3. Regulating Torque Converter Lockup The speed sensor helps regulate the engagement of the torque converter lockup. The torque converter is a component in the transmission that allows the engine to continue running while the vehicle is stopped. The lockup mechanism helps improve fuel efficiency by locking the engine and transmission together at higher speeds, reducing slippage. The speed sensor ensures that this happens at the appropriate time. For enhancing fuel efficiency, the speed sensor helps the vehicle's transmission run more efficiently by optimizing gear shifts and controlling the torque converter lockup. Precise speed data allows the ECU and TCU to manage the engine's RPM and transmission performance, minimizing unnecessary fuel consumption and improving overall fuel efficiency. 5. Enabling safety features. Some safety features, such as anti-lock braking systems, ABS, and traction control, depend on data from speed sensors. The sensors help these systems understand the speed of the vehicle and the individual wheels, enabling better control in slippery conditions or during emergency braking. Transmission sensor data is often integrated with these systems to maintain overall vehicle stability and prevent skidding. The automatic transmission speed sensor ensures smooth operation of the vehicle's transmission by monitoring speed, regulating gear shifts, managing torque converter engagement, enhancing fuel efficiency, and contributing to safety systems. Now, let's talk about the warning signs of a bad automatic transmission speed sensor. Ignoring these could lead to more significant issues down the road. First up, erratic or harsh gear shifting. A failing speed sensor can cause the transmission to move too early, too late, or roughly between gears. Here are the five common symptoms of a bad automatic transmission speed sensor. Number 1. Erratic or harsh gear shifting. One of the most common symptoms of a failing speed sensor is irregular or rough shifting between gears. Since the transmission control unit, TCU relies on accurate speed sensor data to determine the appropriate time for shifting, a faulty sensor may cause the transmission to move too early, too late, or not at all. This can result in jerky or delayed gear changes, which may be especially noticeable during acceleration or deceleration. Number 2. Inability to shift gears. A wholly failed speed sensor may cause the transmission to get stuck in one gear, usually the lower gear. In automatic transmissions, this often leads to what is known as limp mode, a fail-safe setting designed to protect the transmission from damage. The car may only operate in one or two gears in this mode, significantly limiting its speed and performance. Number 3. Speedometer malfunction. If the speed sensor that feeds information to the vehicle's speedometer is faulty, you may notice that the speedometer displays inaccurate speeds or stops working altogether. The speed sensor sends data to the car's ECU, which is then relayed to the speedometer. If the sensor fails, the speedometer may not provide a proper reading, 
leading to difficulty maintaining proper speed control while driving. Number 4. Poor acceleration. A faulty speed sensor can lead to sluggish acceleration. The transmission relies on sensor data to manage torque and power distribution. When the sensor fails, the transmission may not downshift or upshift appropriately, leading to a lack of power when accelerating. This problem is particularly noticeable when merging onto highways or climbing hills. Number 5. Check engine light or transmission warning light. Modern vehicles often have warning lights on the dashboard that illuminate when there's an issue with the engine or transmission. A malfunctioning speed sensor may trigger the check engine or transmission warning light. Sometimes, a diagnostic scan will reveal error codes related to the transmission or speed sensors, such as P0500, vehicle speed sensor malfunction. Thank you for watching, and remember, take care of your car, and it'll take care of you. If you find this video educating, hit the subscription button to be the first to get our video once it drops.